YouTube channel. Uh, another week, another video. I'm super excited that you guys have stuck along and still watching my videos. I It just, you know, warms my heart and makes me super happy. Um, basically, please, before I start, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share my video. It really does help me. Um, in this video, there is going to be three hijab tutorials of three different hijab styles I use on different occasions. Um, I've got, I've always, I always get this question, how do you wrap your hijab? How do you wrap your hijab? It's super simple. And I wanted to show you guys the three, three ways I do it or the three types of hijabs I do. And I've also explained what, like, what I wear and when um, and to which occasions. So stay tuned for the first type of hijab that I wear. So for my first hijab style, I kind of started it midway through when I um, was already putting my hijab. The reason is because obviously I cannot show my neck. But um, as you see, it's a two piece that comes together. You can, uh, there are many places where you can find these two piece sets. Um, so I put that, I like to keep the second piece uh, close uh, closer to this part um, just because I don't like it too far out so this is just my personal preference I know some people like to um, do it more further away um, and then I tuck it in usually whenever I'm wearing this headscarf I tuck it in because it just I don't think it looks nice outside um, I just need to make sure there's no bumps this is like one of the things that I spend, I think I spend like two seconds actually wrapping my hijab, but then five minutes trying to make sure there are no bumps. Um, but yeah, hopefully you got the gist of this one. I like this one because it just stays in place. It is perfect for like, if you're doing some exercise, if you're, you're like running some errands and even like for, um, going out i think it's nice because it just stays in place and you ha you don't have to worry about oh what's showing what's not showing is it is it does it look good does it not i just put it on and, and then that's it um the only thing i just keep doing is just putting this to the front um but the, other than that i think that's that's all i do so i just love the comfort of this hijab and also it is amazing for summer because it's super duper light like i feel the air going in through this headscarf and I don't think this is cotton. I think this is polyester, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which, uh, actually, I don't know if it's polyester, but it's not cotton because I used to have from these that are cotton and I didn't really like them as much. It just looked, I just didn't like them. Um, this is a different material. I'll have to check and see what it is. So I hope you like the first one. On to the second one. The uh, type that I use, um, it is jersey and this is like a material that i use all the time i love jersey i've been using it for years it's just so comfortable it's so stylish but at the same time it still gives you that comfort that it won't move you don't need to use pins it's not an annoying material that will annoy your neck or whatever so i just really like that comfort i'm gonna do another video another youtube video hopefully in a couple of weeks where i buy um jersey scarves from different brands and then compare price quality and also like how big it is because i don't like a really really big jersey scarf because i just don't like a lot of fabric um it just makes me even more hot anyways on to the tutorial what i first do is i find where the tag is because obviously you don't want the tag to show and then i fold it I'll show you how far I fold it usually. Um, I would say two thirds, not more than two thirds, because if you do half, uh, if you fold it, actually not two thirds, sorry, a third, one third, because if you do if you do half, if you fold it halfway through, you're you're at risk that your neck might show, depending on what type of headscarf you're wearing or how big your headscarf is. But you be the judge yourself and see how much you want to fold it. But this is how much I technically, uh, basically fold my scarves, and then I just whoop it to the back. And uh, just FYI, 
I don't usually wear this under jersey. I just wear this this one. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, because I obviously can't show my neck, I have kept it on. It's going to look a bit more clunky with this on, but hopefully you'll get the gist. Now, uh, I leave a short, um, a short side and a long side. Again, you be the judge yourself of how long you want this to be. You can really play around with the length. Um, so, I'm going to do this. And basically what I like is it, it, it to be as close as possible to the underscarf. I don't really like it to show. Um, and then just this first part, you need to put it under your top like so obviously there are different ways you can wrap this but this is my way um you get it close to your face with a with a hard grip kind of and you wrap it across your head bring it to the front and you should have it look looking like this and then you're still holding this part and then you swoop it over your shoulders and it should look like this and now at this point you can really play around with how much fabric you want in the front how much you want dangling over some outfits I like them to be dangling like this I think it looks really nice and then sometimes I just want it all in the back and then I kind of pull it like that and then it will will not move it is amazing um, I don't need any pins. I don't need anything. It's super comfortable. Obviously, it looks a bit more clunky now because I have, a, I have two. I'm wearing two hijabs, but usually it should be. It should look less clunky than it does now. So this is my second hijab type, which I honestly love, and I've been wearing jersey for years, and I don't see myself stop stopping stop stop wearing jerseys. I don't know why I had so much trouble saying the sentence, but you got me. And now guys, last but not least, I'm going to move on to the third type of headscarf I wear. And this one is more on occasions that I wear it. I wear it at weddings, engagement parties, whenever I'm wearing like a gown or a really, really nice dress. I wear this satin headscarf that I got from um, Hot Hijab. I'm sorry it is a bit wrinkly, it's because I just literally, I, I landed today and Amman didn't have time to um, do anything. But nonetheless, this is the satin scarf from Hot Hijab. I love it because of how premium it feels and it doesn't annoy me. I, my problem usually in the past with, with satin scarves is that it just bothers me around the neck and chiffon scarves the same thing. But now with this dis recent discovery of um, Hot Hijab's premium satin scarves. This obviously isn't an ad for Hot Hijab, by the way. This is just really my experience, and I do wear them. And I'll show you guys pictures of where I've worn this headscarf before. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but I just love it because it just doesn't bother my neck. It, uh, you know, it sticks in its place. It doesn't really move if you secure it properly with pins. The reason I don't wear these often is because I don't like to wear pins on a daily basis and I just feel more comfortable with jersey or this type of headscarf on a daily basis. Um, now again, it's kind of very similar to how I wrap my um, jersey scarf, but obviously again, I don't usually wear this under this scarf. It's just for the purpose of this video. Um, I make a long and a short side. Again, play around with how short or how long you want it. Um, but you start off like this with a, um, I'm going to make it a bit longer. Uh, you start off with a scarf close to the head, um, to the underscarf as well. I don't like it to show at all. And I like it to be a bit pointy here. Not pointy, but a bit flow, fluid, flowy, flowy. I don't know what's wrong with me. A bit flowy. Um, if you've seen with the, if you remember with the jersey, I kind of stuck it to my head. This one, I like it to be a bit flowy. Um, and then I do, I wrap it like that, kind of. 
the same way I did with my jersey headscarf. Ah! And then I bring it, I bring the entire scarf to the front like this. And I'm going to tuck it in for now because I want to secure the pins and I don't really want it to move. So obviously I forgot to say this one, you need to tuck it under your dress, hijab, your dress or top or whatever you're wearing. And then I get the first pin. I usually use two pins with this. The first pin and I put it on this side just to make sure it just does not move whatsoever and then obviously take this out i just put it in now for me to be able to put some pins and then put the second pin here and then now just swoop it like this and then again just the same way as i've explained with the jersey scarf um, also play around with how much fabric you want from the front. Do you want it all to the back? Do you want a bit like this here? So you can play around with it. Um, for extra security, what I did at, uh, my, at the wedding that I went to in Beirut, Sarah's wedding, is I put a pin and um, I basically stuck it to, stuck the scarf to my dress so that it just doesn't move. And it stayed like this the entire night. It was just amazing. Um, so I just really like it. I just love this. Um, I just really recommend you getting these satin scarves from Hot Hijab specifically because of how like comfortable they are and how um, soft they feel towards your skin. Hope you enjoyed the three tutorials that I did today. Um, please do leave your feedback on the comment section. I'd love to know what you loved about the video. I also would love to know what hijab style you think suits me best and what hijab style you think you will start um, implementing after this um, and what inspired you. Thank you again for watching. See you guys next week. Next week is going to be a vlog of my trip to Amman. So I'm filming the entire thing. So if you're interested, stay tuned. It'll be up next Sunday. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. I really enjoyed our chats and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye!